as your consciousness expands into the frequency of reality which is the threshold connecting the fourth and fifth dimensions, often known as the rainbow bridge, your perceptions of reality take a quantum shift. The reason for this shift is because your fifth dimensional perceptions come online with your 3D brain. This shift occurs when you then begin the process of reconnecting with your multidimensional mind. This reconnection with your multidimensional mind occurs once your consciousness expands into higher delta and gamma wave thinking. You may not be aware of this shift within your consciousness, but will become increasingly aware of the messages you are receiving from the fifth dimension and beyond. Actually, your fifth dimensional perceptions come online with your multidimensional mind, which is the interface between the higher worlds and your third and fourth dimensional thinking. Then, once you become aware of your multidimensional mind, you become aware of your incoming information from the higher octaves of your multidimensional self. More and more of you are starting to think in a multidimensional format. The difference between your third fourth dimensional thinking and your multidimensional thinking is time. Time rules your physical world. When you love what you are doing, time flies. When you are doing something you dislike, time crawls. In reality, time is an illusion of the third fourth dimension. Long ago, ascension meant that one consciously traveled into the highest realms of the fourth dimension at the close of their physical incarnation. Now, ascension means to consciously travel beyond the fourth dimension and into the fifth dimension. Within this now there is a worldwide process of ascension into the fifth dimension. However, you can only participate in this event if you can perceive it. The difficulty is that if your consciousness is only consciously calibrated to the third fourth dimensions, you will only perceive the third fourth dimensional realities. There is no good bad or right wrong to these choices of consciousness and perception. Some humans are not interested in a conscious connection to the process of planetary ascension. Many of them have been wearing an earth vessel for myriad incarnations and desire to remain within the third fourth dimensional format to which they are accustomed. However, more and more of you are remembering and dedicated to fulfilling your mission to assist in planetary ascension. Your first challenge is to expand your consciousness enough so that you can be in constant, conscious connection with your own multidimensional expressions of self. This conscious connection with your higher and higher dimensional expressions of yourself serve as a Jacob's Ladder. This ladder of ever-expanding frequencies of reality will guide you when it is your now to release your earth vessel and return home. This Jacob's Ladder is actually the frequency trail that you created when you volunteered to take a vessel to assist Gaia with planetary ascension. Those of you who came in in the late 1940s and early 50s had to hide your higher light for many decades before you could openly perform your mission. The difficulty was that if you hid your true, multidimensional self for too long, you began that it was you. Fortunately, the higher frequencies of light entering Earth's atmosphere within your now are interacting with your 97% DNA, which has been turned off for most of your earthly incarnations. This 97% of your DNA serve as personal wormholes of multidimensional light. Hence, they serve as the communication route between the frequency of you wearing an earth vessel and your true, multidimensional consciousness that is now being activated. The lost ones who knew they could not expand into their higher frequencies of light, had to amplify their fear campaigns to lower the consciousness of the masses. However, the masses are increasingly awakening to the truth of their multidimensional nature. As more and more of you consciously acknowledge that you are multidimensional beings, your innate higher perceptions of clairaudience, clairvoyance, and clairsentience will also become normal. These higher dimensional perceptions give you important information about your environment that is far beyond the perceptions of those who still wish to harm and dominate. Most important, your higher perceptions allow you to recognize your increasing power to transmute your reality into a higher frequency of resonance via the power of your innate unconditional love and violet fire. As each of you, as well as within groups, consciously transmute your reality into a higher frequency, the forces of power over others will be left behind in the lower astral realities that they have created. Also, your expanded perceptions allow you to perceive possible realities from the perspective of the fifth dimensional now. 
hence, can perceive a possible realities before they occur. You can then support that possible reality by sending unconditional love and violet fire into it before it even occurs. By this contribution, you simultaneously ground a higher dimensional version of reality and transmute any attempts of the lost ones to interfere with the divine plane. It is in this manner, those who are ascending into the higher frequencies of reality can assist by creating a safer world for those who are just beginning their process of awakening. Just as you were guardians of your third dimensional reality while that was your primary reality, you will maintain your third dimensional guardianship as you expand your conscious awareness back into the multi-dimensional being that you have always been. Thus, with every step you take into the higher frequencies, you leave a trail of breadcrumbs for others to follow. It is true that there are still enemies against the light. However, those enemies are decreasing more and more each day. By transmuting new projects far beyond the reach of the lost ones, you greatly assist with the process of Gaia's ascension. Most important, your protection and guidance assists with the inevitable defeat of the lost ones. Since Gaia is a free will planet, those who choose to serve the darkness will be left behind until they choose to serve the light. Furthermore, as more of humanity recognizes that they are multidimensional beings who have vessels of light on myriad dimensions and realities, they too will realize their own inner powers of transmutation of darkness into light. Within this now, many of you, our light workers, are moving through your final initiations into your fifth dimensional consciousness. These initiations appear as problems, but if you recognize them as initiations, you can remember to use your innate multidimensional powers of transmutation and unconditional love. Please remember that if you assist just two people to remember their true multidimensional nature, and those two people each tell two people each, and this continues from person to person to person, just think how many people will know the truth. Will the truth set free humanity from the limitations of the 3D matrix? It will only set free those who want to be set free. There are still many humans who are not ready to move beyond a third dimensional matrix of reality. Gaia has chosen to be a free will planet in which all her beings could make their own decisions. Therefore, those who are not ready to ascend can continue their lessons of incarnation on earth until the now of Gaia's ascension. Within that now, they can choose to ascend or to continue their third dimensional adventures on another planet. As you can see, Gaia's original blueprint has long been corrupted. This corruption was because Gaia also chose to offer the opportunity to live within polarities which appeared to be separate. These polarities, such as good and bad, are only polarities if one does not perceive that which resonates between the extremes of the third dimensional spectrum. Fortunately, as your consciousness expands further into the frequencies of the fifth dimension, you can perceive the higher dimensional energy fields that connect that which was perceived as polarities. Then, instead of perceiving polarities, you will perceive a spectrum of light. With the awakening that nothing is separate, you realize that everything is one. When all life is one, then you cannot have a winner or loser. You are all in this together. When you are all connected in unity, there can be no competition with each other and no domination over each other the concept of other will be extinct. Do you see how the third dimension will end is shifting into a higher frequency of Gaia's holographic program? Whereas before, Earth reality was based on separation from, and it is now transmuting into unity with. You have all seen that the lower frequency realities, such as the third and fourth dimension, are resistant to change. This resistance to change has occurred because many have not felt safe and one must feel safe to try something new and advanced. How does one feel safe when they think they are alone in a frightening world? They don't. In fact, they often feel sorrow, 